guys, I'm Chris Bowden and you're not. It's Tuesday, September 16th at 11.45 hours. Welcome to Dave's Captain's Blog. It's gonna be fun. We have a milling machine that needs a good thorough douching and a lot of love. But first we have to get it moved inside. So here, I'm gonna hand that off to you. I'll grab the foot. Back in with that, please. it up, we'll reset it. They right. they had it right on their tips, which was terrifying. Yeah. They had no fear and it wasn't there. Right. You have about two feet of the uh, bed before you can actually bring it down, so you have to be back quite a ways. Okay. That's the dent that's freaking me out. Should I swing it? Nice and slow. Huh? You can you can swing this way. Can you? Yeah, it's on my Yeah, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna swing it. What? I didn't want that catching. Get the fuck away from me. It's on the, on the wood. Do I got to come up? Yep, go up about half an inch. Oh, that's the thing. Okay. Good. Good. Clear? 
Keep going. You should be good. They had it living on those pieces of wood. It is not going to live on those I know, pieces of wood. I know, but it's not going to do, but I'm telling you that's what they did. Uh. That's how we did it back to the factory. Those are threaded on the machine. Are they? Yeah, those are threaded. And they're threaded on our old bridge board. More? Never. Alright, you want to start down? You start coming down, place it. Forward a little bit. Huh? You want to tip forward a little bit? Wanted to tip your forks forward. Oh, I'm not. I'm unloaded. If I got to worry about it. Yeah, I can move that. It's not loaded. All right, we got to figure out how to get bolts under it because we want to get it on bolts, bring it in, and then set it down off the bolts. But without those holes being threaded, I don't know how to do that. But 
we can't. We don't have all our slings have ends on them. Yeah, we use fat. Yeah. So there is a way for feet. How hard would it be to tap those holes? To me and I. So, yes, it can be done. And Iskar has a tool for that. But we don't have that tool in. Yeah, let's, let's just throw the meal. Tapping cast iron? Oh, that's no. going to hurt. Let's throw the meal into the meal. Huh? So let's just throw the meal into the meal. We'll be fine. What do you like it? Oh. Machine mode. Foot with a sort of rod. Okay. No, I'll put about space. And fall. Show me a picture. Teach me. I've seen them for like. I, I, I've seen rubber puppy feet with a bolt on top. That's a really stupid ass. Question. What capacity have this? 13. That's, that's perfect, but. How do we lift the thing up with those? By you. Or is that just that's thick enough to? That, that, that'll, that'll hold. How thick is it? Because it says it's. Three eighths diameter. It's a thousand pounds capacity. Okay, that's great, but you know my left nut will hold a thousand pounds capacity. I need to know if that thing is thicker than a fork, so I can set it on that and take the fork out. Okay. And where do I get one locally right now? I think. Um, it says the width is three inches. It says it's three and three-eighths by three and three-eighths. That isn't. If that's three and three-eighths, then that's about an inch thick. Yeah. Unless they do that. Somebody wrote the thing wrong. So everybody should comment on the MSC website. Everybody should tell them they're, wrong. they're so very wrong. All right. So we're going to have to go to Nemec or something. Why not put on some Darnell Rose cast? Darnell Rose cells casters you can put up. I know, I've, I've seen that. Darnell Rose cells casters you can put on the forklift on. I have seen a caster at Darnell Rose that you could probably, with eight of them, put my house on. I, I, I've seen their online catalog. It's made in So for now? Yeah, we can set it over there and drop it on the wood for now. Um, hey, Batman, where's that 4x4 four four extra cribbing bits that we had left over from Groucho? Well, they were on there all right here. All right, grab four of them, because, or grab two of them. Have you got two that are about three feet long? Or are they four little ones? They're all little ones. All right, grab four little ones. I'm going to pick this. We're going to set it back here. I'd like to get it. Like where we want it, but right. there's a lot what, more shit What, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to back in here, kind of, since you have it from the side. I don't think I can grab it. Right. No, there's no way I can That's grab what I'm it. saying. You, you back your end in and you come in from the side because we want it facing this way. Yeah, we want right. back so you're gonna, wall. You're going to back your ass in, in here so you can come in from the side here. Set it. I'll do that, but you can get all that shit out of here. Okay. Then we'll wait. We'll wait. Huh. Here, grab some shit. I would have done it last night if I wasn't here till eight. Tell being you, Batman. Hey, Batman. What? Handle saw is still not moving. There's a big part of it right over there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The hard part is Hey, is Massive H here? Yes. Power on. Why? Hey, Massive H, Massive H, and any free hands that are just standing around not doing anything, please come to the MDH. We're going to move some stuff. That's where my mind went.
We're, we're no, going to move stuff. I'll be back. Batman called. Okay. Eight inches, five inches, four two. There. I'm coming. About an inch. Maybe two. Alright, about there. There? Alright, are we square? Take me. Uh, get your rigging. Okay, man. What? Don't set those under the holes. You want to be able to see all the way through the hole in the floor. That's not going to leave much bite. All right. Well, we're going to have to pick it up again. We got to put the feet under. That's. Oh, I thought that was going to be a plan anyway. All right. You're acting like the forklift can't move. Hi guys. So there's the new mill. And so you can actually see where you're at with digital readouts. Yeah, we got to swing that around. That's fine. It's so, just not pivoting arms. So what do you think of this spot? I, I like this spot. It you works. Like this? We got to get some cable and plug. What kind of plugs it need? Um, right, we got to find out the shirt protection on that for you. It looks like definitely. This is all that's there. They had this hard wire. There's no cable. There's that. There's that. Oh, God. All right. I want to replace this mess, too. Up here? Yeah, there, there'll be a That's, lot of, yeah, uh, a lot of uh, modules. A, a lot of maintenance and repair. All right. Cool. Clear to f Roofer dudes are here, and we're making real progress on the roof. This is pretty badass. We're digging it. They got, they got glue and EPDM, and it's starting to look like some. So there's your update on the roof of Geek House 5. So the rest of it, not terribly exciting, but we're getting there. Time is 1713 hours, and this part on my car had, uh, well you can see the shape of the one over here, it's, it's looking pretty rough. The other one had failed, it had actually opened up at the end, that's the collar right here, okay, and that had opened up this way. So we took it out, and there's the hole left by where it went out. You can see this is all shredded, just completely destroyed. Look at that. And there's the the actual, like, what is fundamentally the frame of the car. You can see it up there. 
and it's well and truly totally fucked. And here is where the frame is now. Yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the day I'm having. So there goes Cleo. My happy blue car, my winter car. Do you want to pull this down? Is uh, is no more. Pull that lever. I'll hit this one. Sad Mazda. 1993 Mazda MX-3. We delettered it. I was going to uh, give it to a friend, but that is totally not safe to be on the road, so. Cleo is now officially retired from service and will be scrapped, which is sad. Alright, let go. There. I want to bring it up on the lowest set of locks. Boom. So there's Cleo. I've had her for 10 years. Got it in 2003. Has been a good car. Love this car. Cleo is no more. All right. So, we have a lot of tiles, and, and, what? Treadmills. Huh? Use a treadmill. I might, that's what I'm it's, thinking. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like... So, we have a lot of tiles, and some people have commented saying they want to buy one, and that I should sell tiles as a fundraiser. So, if you want a tile, I don't know, what's a fair price? We're selling tiles for fundraisers. Five bucks? I was about five to say bucks. Five bucks. There you go. I will five bucks plus shipping and I will even autograph the tiles. So take a stack, put them in a store, put them up online where people can buy them, and I'll put a link in the thing. Okay? No problem. Can you can you shoot a picture of one and get it in the store real quick? Yeah, let's go right. autograph them right now. Five bucks plus shipping. Here. I need a Sharpie. Does anybody have a Sharpie around here anywhere? We'll even put your name on it if you want. Ooh, I'll use the big fat Sharpie. Here, take it. Here. I gotta autograph a tile. They want everyone's or just yours? So that's my fun. I don't know. Because Minkus was suggesting having everyone autograph them and auction them off, see what happens. Okay, well, there's there's the first one, and Moose is going to take a picture of it and put it in the store. It's grout, you silly twat! She likes rocks. Do you want to buy a dog? No. You? No. For just... No. For the price no. of a cup of coffee. No. You could adopt this poor black Oh, dog. you're not asking me. Not you. <laughs> no, no you, don't, you don't want a dog. I'm just wondering if the internet... Do you, do you want know. this dog? I'm you pretty could, sure you can have... have she's, no. She's very relaxed. She's very mellow. She's very zen, aren't you? You very zen? Are you relaxed? Are you relaxed? Are you mellow? Give her to Tracy. She's, All she's she has very, to do is chew through one of the she's, tables. She's a very relaxed, happy little dog. She's she's great with kids. Loves she is great cuddle. with kids. She does love to cuddle. Loves loves to cuddle. Just likes to try and eat my hand. Ah! You should Roll. honestly just honor ah. him with his kids. Hi. They love to have puppy. You know what was really impressive yesterday? Hey, do you like having a wife? Because Rap was about to beat you. I am not going to beat him. I just he needs to remember I have control of the firewall. Yeah. The big, loud machine. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, you're getting used to life at the lab. Not for nothing, I would trade five of you for one Stevie. Stevie's a good dog. Where's Stevie? There's Stevie. Stevie's a good dog. Hi. What? Bathroom. There's a big spider in the bathroom? Eat it. No! Okay. We're on the job. There's a big spider in the bathroom, and Stevie's gonna hide. <laughs> Hi. See, when the dog shakes his head, you hear the wind chimes inside it. That's kind of cool. 
Hey, you were adopted. Yeah. In several states in the USA, it's still legal for an employer to discriminate against an employee based on sexual preference and orientation. Being gay, lesbian, or transgender is a fireable offense, and that's bullshit. So... Give me your twinks! Your bears! Your lipstick lesbians yearning to code PHP! Give me your dykes! Your kinksters! Your furries! And transgenders looking for more! Send these! The rainbowed sparkly code poets to me! Compile with us! We don't care whom you adore! Seriously, folks, are you LGBTQ or a champion for their cause? Do you have mad web developing skills? Then we want to talk to you. Visit this link and fill out an application today. Where you are in the world doesn't matter, so get in touch. Straight, bigoted asshats need not apply. In fact, we'll laugh at you if you do.